guys. Today I'm in the process of mocking up these new exhaust, dual exhaust, megaphone type exhausts for this uh, <clears throat> XJ Bobber. And I want to show you kind of, just kind of a walk around here of what I'm doing and my strategy here. I'm having to relocate this, um, this tail light and license plate bracket assembly. And I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do with it here. Right now I just have it tacked onto the strut. Um, it was down here on the axle right here uh, to kind of complete um, you know the, the old school kind of bobber look but the problem is it gets in the way of the exhaust and my dilemma is I don't really want to spend money on a four to one header for the bike because this is a budget build and two I don't really like the open header sound so I want to have some sort of exhaust on it uh, so this is kind of the best budget friendly option I found. These are these mufflers are around 50 bucks each um, on Amazon. So um, more than likely I'm probably going to take and move uh, the tail light either to this upper strut here or this lower area here and kind of tack it on there. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do. Suggestions are always welcome. Uh, and obviously the bike kind of has the flat black and red theme going. And this chrome just sticks out like a sore thumb. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a coat of uh, very high temperature header paint. Um, similar to, here's the paint right here. It's the flame proof header paint. Same stuff uh, that we went and did these headers with here on the, uh, on the GT40P heads. And this stuff's real durable and, you know, it, it's got the kind of the black, you know, look the matte look going on there. So that's kind of what's uh, up and coming here. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of videos here in the series to kind of show it off. But yeah, the chrome's just not doing it for me. I mean, I hate to, I hate to mess up nice chrome because the finish on these is quite nice. But at the end of the day, yeah, and the battery sticks out like a sore thumb too. But at the end of the day, uh, it's just not going to work chrome. So and have to go flat black on it and I'll uh, go ahead and post an update here. So I got one pipe here on the bench and I just want to show you what I'm going to do before I just go and degrease this and spray it down. I got a uh, sheet of, um, this is just a 220 grit sandpaper that I'm going to hit the chrome with and scuff it up. That'll help the, the new VHT paint kind of adhere to this a lot better and prevent kind of uh, scratching and scaling off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this just with a, a nice, you know, easy sand here, scuff up this beautiful chrome, and then I'll go ahead and uh, degrease it down, rinse it a few times, make sure there's no grease or oils for my fingers on here, and then I'll go ahead and spray it. And then also an important note, these pipes come with a sticker that I just yanked off of here that basically tells you it's compliant with anything that's pre-1983. And then also you're going to want to yank these hangers off. Um, these are attached right here. You want to pull those off too and spray those separately. Don't spray them with it on there because it'll just make for a messy job. So let's go ahead and scuff these babies up and then we'll move on to the next step. Good and scratched up now. You'll see there's kind of like really fine lines kind of in the in the chrome and that basically it's still smooth to the touch but that really just um, helps the paint kind of stick. So let's go ahead and get these over to where I'm going to spray them and then we'll take it from there. What I have here is just a citrus degreaser. Uh, this is basically I'm just going to go ahead and kind of coat these real good with the degreaser here and that'll that'll get any grease from uh, the oils on my hands off of there and it'll let the the paint stick down nice so let's get the let's let that go ahead and soak down and then I'll uh, rinse these off and then get them get them sprayed here rinse down see the water there I'm gonna go ahead and dry these and spray them okay, with the uh, exhaust pipe uh, nice and securely <laughs> resting on uh, a pop can uh, box uh, with very low wind, you're going to want to go ahead and start spraying these down. Shake up your paint really well. Um, and this is self explanatory if anyone's ever spray painted anything before. But basically, what it's going to be is just real kind of light coats like this onto that chrome. And you want to kind of let it sit and dry like that and then revisit it. Don't lay it all down at once. This paint's a little bit different than regular paint and it'll run. So you want to kind of finesse this. So let's go ahead and uh, get a first coat on. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there's your first coat. And you'll see that it's still a little wet. But what it does 
is, this camera doesn't really do it justice, but it lays down real even when you scuff it up like that. You'll kind of see all the way throughout, it's a very consistent flat black. It's not like a wavy uh, flat black. So I'll go back through and probably lay down about two or three more coats on this. Let it dry for a good 48 hours to 72 hours, a long time. And then I'll go ahead and actually start the installation process, getting these babies mounted onto the bike. But flat black's going to look a lot better than that, that ugly chrome on that bike. So Here's your side-by-side -side. while this is kind of doing its final dry here. I want to kind of show you the difference between that chrome and then what that flat black is going to look like. That's kind of a good contrast. And no, we're not leaving the gas tank that poorly painted. That'll get the same, that'll get the same type of finish as this pipe. That'll be, uh, actually, what I'll probably do to that tank is get all the paint off of it with a stripper, sand the hell out of it for a long time, and then lay down some nice flat on that. But you can kind of see the difference there in the chrome, which just isn't happening on this bike, and the flat black. So I hope this inspired anybody out there that's kind of doing a bobber or cafe racer, working on their motorcycle, and, you know maybe ordered some pipes and was a little nervous about painting them because the finish is so nice and you just didn't know how it was going to turn out. I definitely uh, recommend kind of going outside of your comfort zone and doing something like this where um, it matches perfectly and you know it's just going to give it that more authentic kind of old school look. So hope everyone liked the video. Uh, pipe your comments and uh, whatnot down below and remember when you're doing this kind of work on anything that gets hot make sure you use a very high temperature paint it's also called a VHT paint or header paint uh, don't use regular old rust-oleum it's not going to work for you so all right guys thanks for watching see ya